new week people equals new goals so look if you just let life happen to you then you're not going to actually achieve your business success you're not going to achieve the kind of life that you want so what i encourage you to do this week is figure out what you want that's your vision that's your big goal right figure out what you want out of life out of your business and then take little steps all right that means writing goals daily and just making yourself accountable going back over those goals at the end of the day and seeing how you went seeing if you achieved those goals because look there's just no such thing as an overnight success story in business it often looks like you see um you see coffee shops or cafes or restaurants just pop up overnight it seems but what you don't see is the hard, the tough decisions that those business owners have been prepared to make. They've been able to, they've been, they've wanted to put themselves in a situation where they made tough and hard decisions for an easier tomorrow. So discipline and diligence and vision is really what it comes down to, getting the right people around you. Our little company, basically, you know, it's been going now three years and a lot of people thought we couldn't, you know, offer much as, a, as an agency because the brokers and the franchises had the market. But we had a vision. We set daily goals. Uh, last week, we enrolled our first intake of clients in the United States, which is just a massive, massive achievement. Uh, we have a growing list of clients who are... Who are doing some amazing things. Uh, Jamie with his coffee drive-through, hitting 30 kilos a week already. It's only been open one month. So look, none of this would have been, uh, we wouldn't have been able to achieve any of this if we hadn't gone to the planning phase and figured out what we want and set goals, but been disciplined in making sure that we actually uh, you know, um, are achieving them as well. So, um, just want to encourage you guys today uh, to uh, make sure that you write down your goals at the start of every week. But um, Brian wants to win the lottery, yeah. Yeah, you and the rest of the country. But uh, look, good luck with that, mate. But uh, in the meantime, you know, dream big too. Dream big write down your goals every day on how you're going to achieve those things as well um, because without that then you know put it this way there's a saying um, you miss 100 percent of the shots that you don't take and that is, is so true so like nothing ventured nothing gained um, encourage you you know business building is exciting it's like nothing else you can literally transform your life, uh, you know, through opportunity uh, that you've created. But you've got to basically, you've got to act. You've got to put yourself out there, and you've got to, you've got to do stuff, and uh, and then see what happens. But look, it's it's really a, often a game of those that try hardest and are, are willing to go the distance. Okay, so. Make sure that you are prepared just to keep keep trying. You say to yourself, look, this is my goal. If it, if it means that much to you, then you're just prepared uh, to go the distance and you're just never going to quit. And, uh, and that's when you start to really see breakthrough. It's not surprising, you know, that it's tough. Business building is tough. So that's why you need a coach. You need someone who's been down this path before and that can basically guide you, all right? Because there are pitfalls. There are people that want to take advantage of you. Um, and so winning is really the exception. You need to actually know what you're doing. You need to be disciplined, diligent, and part of that is just setting those daily and weekly goals. So this is what I want you to do. In the comments section, I want you to write down your goal for the week. I know that, you know, that might be a little bit uncomfortable for some of us, but 
hey, that's all part of business building. It's all part of growth. It's putting yourself out there and it's doing something uncomfortable. It's doing that which others are not prepared to do. That's what successful people do. You know, I was just I just came out of um, our client uh, group, um, the Kickstart Workshop, and I put my goal down there for the week, and I made myself accountable to the to the group that this is what I'm going to do for you guys. So, why don't you guys do the same? Just put down a goal that will get you out of your comfort zone, something for the week that will get you moving forward and then make sure that you do it, keep yourself accountable. I'll be checking and I'm gonna have a prize for what I think is the most impressive uh, goal, okay? It doesn't have to be anything sort of too extreme, it doesn't have to, it's just basically going to, I'm looking to see people get out of their comfort zone and write down something meaningful okay so that they um, put themselves you know in a position for growth so got a few people on here let me know if you have any questions guys I'll give you all a wave yeah but um, yeah write down your goals put them put them in the comment section um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, really, you need to, uh, you know, do stuff. That's what it's all about. You know, we live in an era where technology and life is just so comfortable and it's almost like, you know, we're being rocked to sleep by society because everything is just too easy. So you really need to actually snap out of that you need to get some clear direction and some clarity and make sure that you are t um, you know stretching yourself testing yourself and that you are putting yourself in a position for growth so that's why daily disciplines are so important um, you know I mean it's true when uh, I say that it's the it's the quality of your belief systems that will elevate your reality so if you think you can then you know you've got so much more chance of success uh, you know than those that doubt their ability those that doubt whether or not it'll happen belief is key it is really key to to overall success um, not always taking no for an answer um, being positive um, speech you know positive speech uh, confessing uh, things like you know um, you know and visualizing your success before it's even happened and these are these are you know and I'm not a religious person okay I don't get me wrong but um, there are things that work that you know whether you believe a lot of the stuff that's in the bible or not but there are things like the power of positive thinking and and confession that that just simply work okay just let me you know say that much i'll just leave it at that but it, it is so true so you know if you want to actually separate yourself from the crowd and you're going to have to to succeed in this game I mean, the natural order of things in this world is to break down, it's to decay. So that's why it just makes sense that you've got to fight like hell to actually gain momentum and to build something valuable. Something that will leave you a legacy, something that will take care of your, your family and give you more freedom in life, okay? So that's what you're basically fighting for. It's, you know, it's not just business building. It's not just a hobby. It's actually warfare, nearly, you know. It is seriously, um, you know, if you want to actually be extraordinary and live an extraordinary life and do something meaningful in business, you can't just let, you know, life happen to you. You've really got to set the terms. So part of that is... Um, setting goals yeah so anyway 
got off on a bit of a tangent there, but um, let me know if that's meaningful, if that's helping you guys. Or if you want to talk about something else completely, well then I'm open to that too. G'day Paul, give you a wave. All right guys, so you know what to do. Just give me one goal, all right? Put it in the comments section. I wanna know what your goal is for the week, all right? You don't have to put down anything that's really private or personal, but I want you to put down something that stretches you a little bit, that gets you thinking outside the realm of just letting life happen to you, all right? Write down that goal and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to check. So, awesome. Good chatting with you guys. Have a pleasant evening. If you're waking up in America, have an awesome Monday. Write down your goals. I believe in you. Best is yet to come. Bye, guys.